Dear friends, the third method of finding the mean is by step deviation method. They will give you the class interval and the frequency. Add up the frequency column to get sigma fi, which is nothing but n. Find the midpoint or the class mark by using the formula lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2, that is xi. From among the midpoints, choose one of the scores as the assumed mean capital A. After that, find out the deviation using the formula di is equal to xi minus a. After you find the deviation, find out the step deviation ui that is equal to xi minus a by h. The meaning, whatever value you have got for the deviation, if you divide that by h, h is the class size you will get the step deviation. And the last column will be the product of frequency and step deviation, fi into ui. Add up fi and ui to get sigma fi ui. So in the step deviation method, two columns will be given to you class interval and frequency. The remaining four, the midpoint, deviation, step deviation and the product of frequency and step deviation will be your part. And the mean is calculated by mean x bar is equal to assumed mean plus sigma fi ui divided by sigma fi into h. Dear friends, in the direct method, you will have four columns, class interval, frequency, midpoint, product of frequency and midpoint. In the assumed mean method, you will have five columns, class interval, frequency, midpoint, deviation, product of frequency and deviation. In the step deviation method, you will have six columns, class interval, frequency, midpoint, deviation, step deviation and the product of frequency and step deviation. A stands for assumed mean that will be chosen from the midpoints. This is the mind mapping or the flow diagram or root diagram or chart which will help you remember which column will be the next. Please practice it multiple times because there is always a complaint from students that while doing problems related to statistics, they forget which will be the next column. The next one will be finding the median for grouped data. Median is given by L plus N by 2 minus cf whole divided by f into h. L will be the lower limit of the median class. N will be the total number of observations or it will be sigma fi. Cf is the cumulative frequency of the class preceding to the median class. F will be the frequency of the median class 
and h will be the class size. How do we calculate the mode of a grouped data? Mode is given by L plus F1 minus F0 divided by 2F1 minus F0 minus F2 into H where L is the lower limit of the modal class F1 is the frequency of the modal class F0 is the frequency of the class preceding the modal class and F2 is the frequency of the class succeeding the model class and h will be the size of the class interval or class size and what is the empirical relationship between the three terms mean median and mode three times the median is equal to two times the mean plus 1 time the mode, 3 median is equal to 2 mean plus 1 mode is the empirical relationship between mean, median and mode. So, for a quick recap, what are the important things that you need to remember? Sigma stands for adding up or summation. Fi is the frequency, xi is the midpoint or the class mark, di is the deviation and deviation is usually given by xi minus a and a is the assumed mean, assumed mean is chosen from among the midpoint, x bar means mean, ui is the step deviation and step deviation is xi minus a divided by h, h is the class size, l stands for the lower limit of the class interval, f1 is the frequency of the modal class, f0 is the frequency of the class preceding the model class, F2 is the frequency of the class succeeding the model class, CF is the cumulative frequency of the class preceding to the median class. And how do we get the midpoint? Midpoint is got by lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2. And Along with all these notations, symbolic representations, you will have to recall the root map or the mind map and then revise multiple times. Please remember in statistics, the basic operations are used more. And the basic operations are addition, subtraction, division and multiplication. In some cases, we also use square root by long division method. If you have your basics right, if you are a little more patient and persistent in your efforts, for sure, Mathematics is not a difficult subject at all. It needs constant attention and continuous practice. So, the gist of what we studied in statistics for this year, CBSC 10th Board and Karnataka State 10th Board Mathematics you will have problems on mean, 
using three different methods direct method assumed mean method step deviation method you will have problems on median you will have problems on mode and you need to know the empirical relationship between mean median and mode in the direct method class interval and frequency will be given you will be finding the midpoint and then the product of midpoint and the frequency you will have four columns you will add the second column frequency and the fourth column sigma fi xi mean is given by sigma fi xi divided by sigma fi in the assumed mean method you will have five columns the first two they will give you the third one will be the midpoint and the midpoint you use the formula lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2 and find the midpoint after you get the midpoint from among the midpoints you choose one score to be the assumed mean and then you will find the deviation by using the formula xi minus a after finding the deviation you find the product of frequency and a deviation add the fifth column frequency and deviation that product column that you have got that you will add you will get sigma fi di mean is calculated by a plus sigma fi di by sigma fi in the step deviation method you will have six columns class interval and frequency they will give you midpoint you will find from the midpoint you will choose one score to be the assumed mean you will find the deviation by using the formula xi minus a then you will find the step deviation ui is equal to xi minus a divided by h and then you will find out the product of frequency and step deviation add up sigma fi ui will be obtained mean is given by a plus sigma fi ui divided by sigma fi into h median is given by the formula l plus n by 2 minus cf by f into h mode is given by the formula l plus f1 minus f0 divided by 2f1 minus f0 minus f2 into h the relationship between mean median and mode is 3 median is equal to 2 mean plus 1 mode dear students please remember that you will have to practice and practice consistently if you do not revise what you learned today within 24 hours you would have forgotten 83 percent of what you learned so the formula for being better is revising repeating rewriting and recalling and that has to be done consistently please take care be safe stay at home while going out please wear a mask and maintain physical distance and have a good health and have a very good exam time god bless you take care